Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashura. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe. If you're a part of the family, welcome back. So I'm going to be going gluten free for the next three weeks. It's actually been a week already. I'm kind of late in making this introduction. But um, in this video, girl, don't ask me why I'm going gluten free. Okay, I know you're going to ask me why are you doing gluten free diet? I just am. But um, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the food that I'm going to be eating, the exercise I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be sharing with you guys um, my weight. So I'm going to be weighing myself every single week and I'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience with this diet. For breakfast, I'm going to be having, you know, just some yogurt or some granola with fruits and some seeds and stuff like that. And then for lunch we're gonna have miso soup so that just basically contains some fish stock um, mushrooms spring onions um, seaweed tofu and then for dinner sweet potato red beans avocado rice and kale so i actually have an in-depth video of each meal um it should be under my video called what i eat when i'm on my period so go ahead and check out that video if you want to like see how to make the meals in depth but they're literally so straightforward that i didn't really like share with you guys exactly how i made it in this video so go ahead and check out that in my other video if you want to see how to make it like step by step a couple of days before i started the diet i was at work with one of my friends and she was like um i was basically telling her like i'm gonna start a gluten-free diet very soon and she was like girl that's gonna be so tricky and i was like what are you what are you talking about she's like gluten-free is literally in everything when i tell you this girl was right like i did not see it coming like i actually feel like no like you guys don't understand like people that are actually gluten-free and they have no choice but like that's their diet or they have celiac disease and stuff like that i actually feel for you guys because it is not an easy thing but like what i love is like when i go shopping and i go to like different places like i love that there's like options you can buy gluten-free chocolates you can buy gluten-free pasta gluten-free this gluten-free that and i'm like wow the fact that people are able to like create food for other people that can't have what other people can have it's amazing and like we actually take things for granted you'd be surprised by how many food out there we take for granted that so many people aren't able to eat and enjoy and it's like it's crazy like really my my like my heart really goes out for people that have celiac disease and stuff like that So it is two weeks now and I just want to come in and kind of fill you guys in with a couple of things that I've learned. So for the last week I have been craving a lot of sugary things and I went to buy some snacks on from the gluten free section. I did find myself kind of curious and I was wondering what can I have if I went to the section where it's just normal chocolate, normal crisps, normal snacks and I want to buy something and um, what can I have if I'm gluten free? So I found out a couple of chocolates and snacks that you can have if you are gluten-free so kinder chocolates are gluten-free um m ms are gluten-free i believe the cambrai chocolate it has to be like dark chocolate i believe there's this vending machine at work and literally the only chocolate that i can get from the vending machine is the twirl chocolate um another chocolate that you can get is sneakers sneakers are gluten-free um what else yeah so those are the gluten-free like snacks that i've tried so far this week when i go shopping i don't really check for gluten-free things because i don't personally have anyone that i know or a friend or family that is gluten-free so i never think of buying gluten-free snacks but whereas if i was to have like an event like i personally don't think i would be thinking of oh let me buy some gluten-free snacks like that would never cross my mind but now because i've experienced and i'm going through this diet definitely if i'm gonna have an event or anything i'm definitely adding sneakers and those kind of chocolates into you know the table so it's amazing how like when you go through things how it changes everything and like <laughs> guys if i was to go buy chocolate or a snack i would never buy sneaker i would never buy a twirl i would never buy a twirl chocolate like never i would never reach for that that would never cross my mind so for me it's like wow like it's it's just funny it's just funny how like i don't know it's just changed my perspective on things so much For 
three weeks straight i've been on a gluten-free diet and i'm not gonna lie it's probably the most toughest diet that i've done on my channel so far i don't know what i was expecting it to be like but it was not like how i like it was not what i thought it would be like it was it was tough it's been a couple of weeks since i'm back to eating my normal food so normal bread pasta and stuff like that and my body was like so confused it was just like what's going on so i was so bloated for weeks i was just bloated and honestly i was so uncomfortable and most times i was like i actually don't want to eat because i just felt insecure like it was just not looking good for me and i just hated it but now i'm back to like normal like my body's used to it and i'm okay now but like definitely the first couple of weeks mm -mm, it was not looking good yeah i just want to go over the food that i had um during the last week of this diet so for breakfast i wanted to try something different i wanted to have something savory because i was off work that week i was able to you know make the food every single morning and it's so funny i was looking forward to this breakfast literally every morning i was like yes i can't wait to have this um i had like um roasted potato tomato um spinach egg and avocado it was just so nice it was just so tasty i don't know i was i was just like in love with this meal like it was just so nice and then for lunch i kept it simple very easy you know me I love my smoothies literally every video i have a smoothie thing going on so yeah um, for lunch i had smoothie i had i think it had strawberry pineapple ginger matcha powder banana um water i think i'll list everything down on the screen anyway but um very nice very tasty very quick um yeah i love that that was a really nice smoothie um i had it before i went to the gym just so that it's quick and I could just head to the gym, do my thing. So next up is dinner. I had a stir fry. It wasn't too sweet, not too savory. Like it was just perfect. It was just in the middle. And I always looked forward to having this at the end of the day. Like it was just so nice. And the stir fry, I had some carrots, mixed peppers, um, broccoli. And with the gluten-free pasta, it would just like break. Like. <laughs> it would break all the time i don't i don't know why but like yeah it can never stay in that long perfect line like it just breaks all the time and um, so whenever i was like trying to like cook it and trying to make it look pretty mm -mm. so yeah excuse the presentation it just wasn't working for me so those are the food that i had during that week and i had um just some fruits in here and there just a snack i didn't really include exercise in this video just because i felt like I just couldn't I just couldn't I'm using machines now so I'm around people so it's just I don't know I'm awkward I'm, I'm just shy like I'm not there yet but like if you guys truly want to see what I've done with regards to exercise I'll rather like I'll comment it down below or um my next vlog diet vlog that I do I'll try and add it but like yeah I don't know like my gym has been so busy lately as well so it's just like I don't know, I'm just shy. But um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope to see you guys in my next video.